So now I'm going to move on to my next idea for a substrate, which is to use uh, this plain burlap. This burlap costs about two dollars a yard plus tax. It's 39 inches wide. One yard will make at least six pieces of fabric that will line the bottom of a 1020 tray. So you're talking around 30 cents for substrate compared to buying cocoa coir blocks at a buck fifty or two bucks each. So it's still going to be a firm substrate. One of the things I'm thinking is that the paper towels just fall apart too fast and really provide no support for the roots. So the idea will be to use burlap as the uh, top layer of a growing surface. And then I got a couple of trays like this. Now there's a guy named Brent who uses trays with holes in the bottom that are much closer together and you can get those from Amazon but I did not want to buy 10. I have no need for 10 right now. So I went to a hydroponics connection in San Francisco and got these which have holes that are much, you know, a lot more holes but they are too big. Uh, they will let sunflowers or peas fall through and that's why I'm going over to the burlap as an inner layer for this particular situation. So about nine and a half inches is actually wide enough for this. So I'm going to mark that somewhere in here. And cut a piece all the way across and then cut it in two sections uh, lengthwise and you'll end up with a scrap at the end and several of these scraps can be used to line a tray so you don't waste anything. Just going to go back for a second and show how I used the yardstick to measure the nine and a half inches in several places and then drew a line with a sharpie so I have a cutting guide. So we're going to see how good my cutting is. So yeah this basically this is about nine and a half inches wide and nineteen and a half inches long. It covers the bottom of the tray very nicely. So this whole setup is going to go this way starting with um, a solid tray on the bottom with about a pint or so of my hydroponic fluid in the bottom. It may not be enough. Since it's hard to carry these trays with water in the bottom I'm going to leave this here but I will add another amount equivalent amount so the whole thing gets flooded um, you, know, you need to work on trying to have your shelves as level as possible so here we have the holy tray with the burlap I have a measured eight ounces of black sunflower seeds not soaked on my last experiment I think I used more than this in the precision planting video I talk about using six ounces so here we're just going to put these guys in the tray, spread them out. Certainly easier to manipulate these dry seeds. Okay, I'm gonna lay paper towels on top of this to keep it warm, to keep it wet. Just one layer will be enough. These will push things up and I'm now going to soak this with my antifungal solution which is about 20 drops of oregano leaf and 20 drops of GSE grapefruit seed extract and this container of sprayer of water. Just going to cover this. I should just better off just to pour some on like this. So the expectation is that this amount of water poured on here will saturate the seeds, it will saturate the burlap, and that when the seeds start to sprout they will know which way is down and they will go towards the water down below. Finally I'm just going to lay this other tray on here. A lot of people do a lot of stuff with putting heavy weights on sunflowers. I don't really see any value in doing that. 
um, but it does help to have a little weight and also this will seal the moisture inside this whole area uh, while they're on the germination pad. So here's an update on the peas that were put on top of burlap, unsoaked, somewhat crowded, and over a tray of water uh, on a tray that has a lot of holes in the bottom. So they were put in on the 19th. This is the 27th. I feel like I'm getting good germination and growth. And when I pick up the tray, which I'll try to do in a second, I get uh, pretty good growth of roots down into the system. The burlap holds water when I pour it on the top, so that's a pretty good um, thing. Okay, so here you see the growth of roots on the bottom of this thing. So I think that's uh, good progress here.